Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a DIY for you. I say it like that because really it's more of a, an idea and a plan, but you can make it your own, if that makes sense. So if you notice behind me, I'm sitting in front of my beaded garland. I made this, and I'll show you the materials. Excuse me, Alex. Oh, somebody was wants to say hi. Say hi, baby. Yeah, Alex is loving tonight, and he's fat. He's going on a diet. Um. So anyway, a seasonal garland. Think about this. We've got winter, January. Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, boom, 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 boom. And I, for one, am not redecorating my house for all the seasons. What I typically do is put up my winter decor and then I bring in and out different um, things that will fit. And I wanna leave my garland up, so I was like, how do I fix this? And I'm gonna show you what I came up with. So first we're gonna go over the materials that I used and then I will show you what I did. Now this, is the bucket of beads and I got it at Michael's and it was on an end cap and they had all different colors all different kinds of beads colors I wanted the plain wooden beads this was $9.99 and I did use a 40% off coupon so it was like five something for all of these and I was able to make this garland which is about four feet across and had some beads left so just to give you an idea then you'll need some sandpaper, maybe, some glue if you're gonna do what I'm doing, some ribbon. Here's some other beads you could use to like, these are from the Dollar Tree. I could have put some dark beads in. Um, I used some gold paint, paint brushes. Um, I think that's it for what I use. Oh, nope, lies, lies, Lori. I used some Valentine's tissue paper from the Dollar Tree. Um, I don't, I think I had this on hand. It just says like, happy Valentine's day, happy Valentine's day all over with hearts. And then this one is gold hearts on white with red. And then this one was pink. I didn't end up using this package. So and you use very little, you could do them all the same. You could do whatever you want. This is what I'm doing for the specifics for Valentine's day. I, they're not out yet with the St. Patrick's day stuff in my store, which is really weird because I got Easter. But you work with what you got, to quote my uncle. God rest his soul. So I used tissue paper. I used paint. I used paint brushes for multiple things. Um, yes. And then I used the hearts for Valentine's Day. I haven't opened these packages up yet to do, but I will. But you've got chicks. You have eggs. You have carrots. And you have bunnies. So some variety of this is going to be behind me for Easter. And then for winter, I used the package of these ornaments from the Dollar Tree um, in the white. These are the clear. I didn't use the clear, and I'll show you what I did to mine. In the white, you could also use something like these and do nothing to them. These are just white and opaque and sparkly. Or if you can utilize something like this in the middle, if you have any ornaments laying around. I actually purchased those for my winter mantle because I really wasn't sure which direction I was going to go. And oh, I might use some twine. I mean, you just can use, there's a myriad of things. If you don't want to build an entire garland and pay the money, um, I actually bought this at Joanne Fabric and it was in their, they call it trimming. I don't honestly know what it's for to be honest with you. Um, it's a trim of some sort for sure, but I don't know what. But it goes with my decor because there's beads. This is gonna end up in the kitchen. I know that for sure because I've already hung that one. And then um, I purchased this garland at Dollar General. And this already has these little hearts strung on them. You could take these off. This was a dollar, Dollar General, and hang them on your mantle if you want some sparkle. I'm going to double this up with that in my kitchen and space everything out. But you could totally, or just use a plain piece of twine. Um, now, if you want less farmhouse and more, 
modern kind of blingy. Get some of this. Oh, it's going to be hard to see. This gold, what are they calling this? Chris, it's from Christmas time. It's just gold um, cording. And you can still get it now. It just wouldn't be Christmas packaging. And hang that up there or get some glass beads or some sparkly beads. And if you wanted to decorate your wooden things and more bling, look at this. These are from the Dollar Tree. This is like the silver sheets and this is, I think they call this diamond wrap. And it's, these are adhesive. Honestly, you could just peel the back, slap one of those wooden hearts on it and then cut around it maybe with an X-Acto knife. And now look what you got the blingy heart. I mean, there's no, this is a technique. This is not a DIY, I suppose, but I'll show you what I did. So on the, oh, and here's another thing you could hang. Just plain felt hearts. These come from the Dollar Tree and this can just hang right like that. You could write your kid's name on it, your pet's name on it. You can make these like conversation hearts and write like the words that are on those candies. I mean, there's guys, trust me, there's a hundred things you can do. And I will put each one of these up and show you what it looks like. Now for the winter, I took those white snowflakes and these are so cheap. I mean, they're 10 for a dollar guys, but I took, and I don't think you're going to be able to tell, but I took a little bit of gold paint like and dry brushed it over to kind of tone down the white sparkly these were glittery um and because my house has some gold in it i just that's all i did i dry brushed some gold paint over five of these because that's how many doodahs i'm hanging up each season is five you do you whatever makes you happy um so five of those then i thought well what's better because what I used I should tell you that from the Dollar Tree I'm gonna have to grab something down here I used gold paper clips and I couldn't find gold paper clips but I did find and I'm gonna put it back together and show you in the stationary section and I showed you these <laughs> these paper clips with the tassels and all I did is I removed the tassel um, one of the reasons I like these over regular paper clips is they are thicker and I think they will hold better. But all I did, is, guys, I opened it up and I made these a little bigger like that. I hooked this fat end over my rope and pinched it or over my garland and pinched it. And this is where I will hang the things and I'll show you in a second. But you could just hang these that way. And now you have tassels all over. Or you could go in between your little doodahs with some tassels if you'd like to do that. Um, you could hang these snowflakes for winter. Super easy. And then what I did, I'll show you these hearts. This is the white I didn't paint them all I will show you in a second, but it was so easy. So that is with the white tissue paper with the gold hearts. Um, this is the red tissue paper and I love the kind of texture I'm getting with the tissue paper. Uh, this is, I just painted this one gold. That's all I did to match my decor. So it's just gold. I could have done them all that, but I wanted some pretty. This is the light pink. I could have done the dark pink, but I wanted the light. And then this is the words that just says Happy Valentine's Day on it. I used the paintbrush when the tissue paper was wet to poke through the hole, to bust through the tissue paper. That's all for the back side of this. I also used a bigger one to paint, but you want a tiny paintbrush to just poke the hole out. Now, if you wanted it to look a little more country or a little more cutesy, you can totally add like little tiny bows to them. I don't know if I'd add on that one, but maybe on do all pink and then add a little Valentine's colored bow would be super cute or your bling or nothing, which is what I'm doing. So that's Valentine's day. And then I had, like I said, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these yet, but I'm going to do those for Easter. So let me pause. I'm going to hang up the things and show you what it looks like with each one hung up. All right, that is just with the snowflakes hanging on there. Um, obviously, you can 
cook them better. But that's what they look like with just the snowflakes, which I think is super cute. And then on either end, I may attach those white snowflakes. But for right now, that's the snowflakes for winter. And that is the felt tarts from the Dollar Tree, which I think are adorable. I really like that look a lot. Um, yeah, I think that's perfect. And if you need to see something else super cute, <laughs> Dobby, baby, you gonna say hi? He's not gonna say hi. Dobby, hi, baby. All right, now those are the hearts I decorated, the wooden hearts. So there's the, with the gold, the red, the solid gold. Sorry, you're looking in my dirty fireplace. The soft pink and then the words. Which I like that too, guys. Not going to lie. Got that one. And then I'll show you the last one that I have. And the last and possibly my favorite, I just stacked the wooden hearts with these um, felt hearts behind it. And I like that. I just think it makes it look bigger and better. You can write words on these. You can spell out anything you want, but I really like this and I hope you do too. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.